Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here. Welcome to day 21 of our 30 days in flow. So cool. If you have not been doing the past 20 days, then you can check them out. Links are down below or over on learn.hooplovers.tv. There's extra support over there too. Oh, hey, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm sharing new hoop inspiration all of the time. And if you head over to learn.hooplovers.tv and you use the coupon code hoop. 20, then you get 20% off any of the courses over there. But the 30 days in flow is free. So go grab it now. So grab everything that you need, including your hoop right now, because today's four tricks, it's actually such a cool combo. I love this one. So we're going to start with a toss, then we do a kick up, then we do vortex breaks, and then we do prayer hands. And so if you've done the last 20 days, we've probably done all of those tricks, but we're going to do completely new variations. And this is the coolness of hooping, that there are so many cool variations. So the toss that we're going to do is a weave, tap, throw, and toss. So we're going to get inside our hoop. And this is great even if you don't have a lot of space, you can do this quite low. You just want to be super mindful of your face, but we're going to do it in a way that we transition into the kick up. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, of course, you don't have to do the weave if you don't want to, but it's a nice seamless flowing way to get into a weave and tap. And when you tap, what you want to do is have your knuckles up and you're going to tap the opposite side of the hoop on the floor. And this just gives your hoop a little bit of stability because if you just kind of throw, it can go really wobbly. So if you tap and then throw, you can make, if you hinge your arm up, you can make the space up above you, let go quite neatly, and then it will come down. So you can put your arms up in the air to protect you, but if you throw it fairly gently, then you're going to be in the space really easily. Now, what we want to do is a kick up that looks like this. I'm going to use my right foot, and the kick up is a tick, Talk. <laughs> now, this was way before TikTok ever was like even a thought. It wasn't even a thing, an app invented. We did this TikTok because we TikTok in front and back. And so what you want to do, if you're going to use your right foot to do the kick up, then your left leg is going to be really grounded. You're going to pour your weight in there. And then you want to hook the hoop around the front of your foot and gently bring it to the front. Don't give it too much time because it'll fall on the floor and then to the back. Now, when you bring it to the back, what you're going to do is pick up your hoop with your foot, <laughs> try to balance and then give it to your hand. Okay, so when the hoop is down, if you're using your right foot, your right foot goes forwards and backwards, forwards, backwards. And what you want to do is try to balance, but bring your hoop up to your waiting hand, palm towards your body. But now we have to put the toss and the kick up together. So here's what's going to happen. When you, if you're doing the TikTok with your right leg moving, then your right leg will go out in front. If you're doing it with your left, then your left will go out in front. So when you do the toss up and on, you want to land the hoop on the front of your ankle. And that can take a little bit of practice and I'll show you a few tips because then you're going to gently keep your hoop there on the front of that ankle and step forward with your other leg and then you can go into the kick up, okay? So here's some things that might happen. When you do the toss, and if you put your right leg out, if it bounces on your knee, if your knee is out, then it might ricochet and hit. So what you want to kind of do is not throw the hoop too far backwards, that it's kind of like in the pathway of going backwards. You want to try to toss it gently up, and then if you, <laughs> and then if you need to step towards it, that's okay. So you can step towards it. And um, what you kind of want to try to do is make sure that your knees not too bent and, and far in the way. 
it's going to take a few goes. You might get it the first go, which is really cool. And then remember, you want to step forward. Now, if you lift your heel off, it's going to push the hoop towards the floor. So a few things to get that sorted. But once you get that transition, you'll be feeling like a total superstar. So toss, step. I like to point my toe up just as like a little hook. Um, and you don't have to do it this slow-mo. Obviously, once you start to do it in flow, it will feel a little bit better. Step forward, tick, tock to the back, <laughs> and hopefully catch. And then, then we need to go into vortex breaks. We'll make that a little smoother. But as you can see, it's a bit of a learning curve. So, vortex breaks. If I use my right foot, to bring the hoop to my left hand, like this, then I'm going to bring the hoop around in front and my right uh, wrist will face my head and then I go down on the right, up to the center, down on the left. But if you use your left leg to bring the hoop around to your right hand, then it will be opposite. So you'll go down on the left and up. So. Today's technique is sense. And sometimes when we're doing a lot of these tricks, it's kind of like, it's almost like we lose our senses because we're so uh, fixated on not dropping the hoop, not hitting ourselves in the head. But in fact, it's not so much that we lose our sense. We have, if, if all of your senses are working and heightened, then it's not that we're losing them, it's just sometimes we're so focused on something else. But in fact, the sense of touch, the sense of sight, the sense of the sense of, of everything, your sixth sense even, is very much switched on because you're creating, you're sensing these pathways. Intuition on high. So after you grab your hoop, you're going to bring it up to third eye center, opposite hand palm comes towards you, down and up. Change hands, pinkies together, down and up. These are vortex breaks, down and up, just like this. Now the next time the hoop is in your dominant hand, for me, that's my right hand, when you come back up, you're going to spin it on that hand, thumb out, four fingers up, and then we can move into prayer hands. Ha ha, so we did it. Okay, so we have a toss. Step in. <laughs> Tick tock to the back and catch. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Prayer hands. Now, obviously, when we're in flow, sometimes the hand is not in the right place. See if you have to make a little variation or do another little twist. It doesn't make it wrong. It's just creating new pathways, developing new sensuality. When our senses are developing, when our senses are on and heightened, we are in our sensuality. Let's play with this. This is a tricky one. So bringing ourselves in to beautiful, sweet flow. Let's play.
that is a super fun one, giving yourself extra, extra, extra time to play and create your own style and sense your own patterns and rhythms. Head over to learn.hooplovers.tv to grab the free 30 days inflow. I'll see you over there. And I'll see you tomorrow. Big hoop love. Mwah.